Where's my rice? All right, guys, so today we're making Portuguese-style baked fish, one of Malaysia's iconic grilled fish recipes that is from the Portuguese settlement in Malacca. All right, so first off, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our paste. All right, it's like a sambal almost. Shallots. Into a jug. Now, bird's eye chili. Remove the stem, slice. Now this really depends on how spicy you like it to be, okay? As you know, I love my food hot. Some garlic cloves in turmeric. This is fresh turmeric. I'm using fresh turmeric because I want that nice sort of taste of turmeric in there as well. Now this is galanga. So instead of ginger, I'm using galanga for more pungent sort of taste. Lemongrass. Just the white part of the lemongrass in. And I love using the root of coriander. Yeah, this gives a lot of flavor. Candle nuts. Yeah, these are candle nuts. This is to sort of give that nice richness and also a nice consistency to the paste. These are hydrated dried chilies. Yeah, that I have sort of uh, soaked in hot water for about 20 minutes. And here I have some fresh red chilies. Cut the chilies in half and remove the seed, all right? Now, once you've de-seeded the red chilies, slice. This is just to make the blending process a whole lot easier. All right, add some oil. Now, you can add water to this, but I find that by adding water, the sauteing process takes a longer period of time because the water needs to evaporate, yeah? Blend away. Oil in a wok. Shrimp paste. Now, the shrimp paste is something like durian, right? Some people love the smell of shrimp paste, like me. Some people just can't stand the smell of shrimp paste. All right, once your shrimp paste is nice and aromatic, in goes the blended paste. All right, so we want to keep this on a low, sort of low medium heat and saute this until the paste is cooked through. And while we're waiting on for the paste, now let's start on with this fish right here. Yeah! A couple of weeks ago, we did a recipe using uh, sea bass and um, I showed you one method of uh, fr deep frying the fish and how we scored the fish. Now today I'm going to show you a different way to prep your fish, which is by butterflying your fish, removing the center bone, you know, opening up the flesh of the fish so that way the fish cooks faster as well and there's a lot more flavor that's resting on the flesh of the meat. So, this fish has just been gutted and cleaned off by the fishmonger, right? What we're going to do is, we're going to start right here, slice down. You want to use a very sharp knife. Run your knife alongside the bone. Now, because the fish is quite big, so I had to get my cleaver out. Yeah, and just to sort of stand the fish up. And what I've done is, you know, just sort of cut through this part of the bone, yeah, just to detach the meat from the bone. Okay, now we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. There we go. What you want to do is find where the bone is, slice down. Same thing, using a cleaver just very gently along the center bone of the fish. We're sort of breaking the bone that's sort of the rib of the fish. Yeah, and if your fish is small, a simple chef knife would work. But if the fish is a little bit bigger, then you probably want to use a cleaver so you don't damage your chef knife. There we go. Nice. And then back to your chef knife, releasing the flesh and exposing the bone. Following the collar, just cut down. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I've got a scissors here and we're just going to cut off the centre bone yeah, from the neck. There we go. Making sure that you keep the head intact. Yeah, there we go. If you need to, cleaver, bang. So you've got this center bone out of the fish. So I'm just using the palm of my hands, pressing down along the cheekbones, just to spread open the fish head. Now we can transfer this 
onto a nice baking plate or a grilling plate. All right, so I've got some lime leaf here that I'm just removing the core to get the leaves out. Get it together. There we go, just roll it together. Slice down. Into the paste. And I'm gonna add some spices. I have here some coriander powder. We're gonna season this with some salt and a pinch of sugar. Give everything a good mix around. And this is done, ready to be spread over the fish. Now the fish is done right here. I'm just gonna season the fish a little bit. If you're not grilling the fish straight away, um, you would need to let this paste cool down first before you put it over the fish. I'm just gonna put it right onto the fish and into the oven straight away. There we go, look at that, nice. So you can see now, the reason I butterfly the fish is so that all this flavor, this paste, sits directly on top of the fish, the flesh. So when you eat the flesh of the fish, all you're getting is flavor. I preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and we're gonna chuck this in for maybe a good half an hour. Bye bye fish! Bye! All right, so fish is done. Oh, look at that. All right, it smells absolutely delicious. Now, I've got some garnishes here. I'm using some picked out coriander that I've soaked in cold water. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix together with that some ginger torch flour, or we call it bunga kantan. Yeah, this is one of my favorite, favorite herbs. Slice it in half and really thin slices. All right, now to this, I'm going to be adding some shallots. Just thinly slice the shallots. Pick out your coriander, drain the excess liquid out. Give this a good mix together and then mix it together with the coriander. So with every bite, toss it around, you sort of get that nice coriander, that freshness and that beautiful aroma of ginger torch flower. And pick it up, on we go. Some lime. Right on the side. So you can sort of squeeze that lime and enjoy that fish. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the iconic Malaysian Portuguese style grilled fish. All right, so now time for a little taste test. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. Mm. Absolutely delicious. The fish is full of flavor. We've got the paste that's right on top. You know, flavors happening left, right, center. You know, different burst of flavors from the freshness of the coriander to the ginger hot flour. You've got that spicy paste that's on top of that sweet, clean, delicious tasting fish. Definitely a winner. Guys, I urge you to give this recipe a try. It's so simple to make. Uh, probably, yes, a little bit more ingredients than your usual, you know, uh, simple Western style baked fish, but this is definitely a recipe that you have to try. Your family is gonna enjoy it, I promise you. And if you think this video has added value to you, you've enjoyed this content, do click the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week. Ciao. So good, man. Like, I can just sit here and nibble on this. Oh, look at how soft the fish is. Mm. And here's the thing, I've used red snapper, but you can use sea bass, um, you know, uh, sea bass great. Uh, any white fish, you can use tilapia if you'd like. Mm. 